There has your favorite show today, and is that host? Oh, what is the highlight of this week? It seems to be related to environmental protection. Yeah, let me do some calculations. Come and take a look. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Friends Show. Our topic for this week is environmental pollution, and for today, we're looking at ocean plastic pollution. Right now, our team is out on the street looking for someone to undergo our program that will completely transform his or her single-use plastic-dependent life. More on that later. Also today, we're going to hear from an environmental expert specializing in plastic pollution and his thoughts on our transformative program that some random person is about to participate in. And finally, we will show you how to reduce your plastic waste and what other things we could do to help protect the Earth. So here's the news: ocean plastic pollution is already a very serious issue affecting our waters, marine lives, and even our health and lives. Let's take a look at of the current pollution situation. More than seventy percent of the Earth's surface is covered by oceans, and the oceans pl play an indispensable role in humans' life. However, our use of plastic product has greatly increased. Plastic production increased just from over two million tons in 1950 to almost 550 million tons in 2015. And where does it all go? Well, a huge portion that has not been properly handled ends up in our ocean, polluting the water, killing the wildlife, and even ending up back to us. So today we invite an environmental expert to help us analyze the current ocean pollution situation. So let's welcome Dr. Kyle Tang. Hi, everyone. Uh, thanks, Lacey, for having me. Uh, I have been observing the issue of the ocean plastic pollution for a long time.、Uh, as you say, plastic production has increased exponentially in the last in the last seventy years. Currently, about eight million tons of plastic products escape into the ocean each year. It's equivalent like、uh, to a truck plastic plastic waste pouring into the ocean every minute.、Uh, scientists say there are. Between 15 and 51 trillion pieces of plastic in the world oceans, and by 2050, the estimate is that plastic in the ocean will outweigh of the fish. Therefore, the United Nations has regarded plastic waste as a global crisis, second of the climate change. So, what sort of plastic waste is now currently getting into the ocean? In fact, there are many types of marine litter,、uh, from large items such as car tires and industrial fishing nets to microplastics such as microbeads in soaps or even microfibers from synthetic clothing, and everything in between, such as the infamous plastic bag. We can see this pollution. On the surface of our oceans, but that's only twenty percent of the total litter will will float, and the other eighty percent will sink and be hidden below the surface. After it explodes, the sunlight, wind, and waves, the plastic waste will continue to be broken down into plastic particles and even become nasty. As the plastic breaks down, the dry-sized plastics will be eaten by tiny zooplankton, which will. Then be eaten by small fish, shrimp, and then big fish continuously, pass up the food chain and accumulated in the internal organs and muscles, tissue of marine life. Then it ends up our markets and even eaten by us in the end. Whoa, that's really disgusting. And to think, I just had sashimi last night. Well, Doctor Tang has shown us how big of an issue this is. But who is using all this plastic, and what can we do to change our habits? So we did a survey with local high school students, and here's what we found: the majority of students use one or more plastic bag each day, and usually that's at restaurant, takeout, delivery, or at coffee or tea shop. Despite this dependence on single-use plastic. It looks like people would still be willing to change their habits. Here's hope. So 
Let's check in with our reporter Daisy to see if she can find someone on the street be willing to do this transformative program with us. Sorry to bother you. Do you have time for a short survey? Oh, okay, sure. Is environmental issues important to you? Not really. Do you usually calculate the amount of plastic you use in a day? Actually, I don't do calculation in particular because I always use plastic when I buy things. Oh, I see you're holding a ceramics here. Do you usually bring a reusable cup when you plan to buy drinks at a coffee or tea shop? To be honest, I won't bring my own eco-friendly stuff. I see. Perfect. Now we have a transformative program. I think you are a perfect candidate. Are you willing to join our program? Uh, okay, sure. Would that be alright to you if we follow your all day so that we can record the amount of plastic you use in a day? Oh, okay. Dr. Tong, what do you think? Uh, well, we can see that use a lot of plastic tableware and plastic bags. Uh, so there are definitely room for improvement there. Speaking of plastic packing, it accounts for the largest population of the global plastic industry, according for about twenty six percent of the overall plastics industry. In twenty thirteen, the global use of plastic Plastic packing out of the market was about seventy-eight million tons, and according to the video just show, we could estimate it that she would use around seventy hundred plastic bags in a year. The Taiwanese national average, according to the current trend, the output of plastic packing is expected to continue to double in the next few decades. By twenty fifty, it is. It is expected to increase to three hundred and eighty million tons, and unfortunately, ninety five percent of plastic packing is disposable, and more than ninety hundred ninety percent is not recycled. Well, let's see if we can do something about this by putting our new friend Demi through our week long transformative program to see if we can help her reduce plastic consumption. This is the result of our transformation after a week. I'm looking forward to Demi's differences. Let's check it out. Hey, hi. How's everything going after the transformation? After the transformation, although it's quite bothering me, but I feel like I really do my part of the earth, and I feel good of it. Just special experience and feeling that I will never forget. So we still hope that we should always use eco-friendly shopping bag. For the first step, we should always use paper bag instead of plastic bag. And that's our show for the day. See you next week. Bye. We usually use a lot of plastic bags, which is really not environmental friendly.、Mm. What can we do? Oh. We can also make some paper bags to raise the popularity of our restaurant. Yeah, I can look for the personality of the paper bag beverage brand this week. <laughs>